بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بناتي وابنائي طلبة طلبات الصف الثالث الاعدادي اهلا بكم مرحبا مع الجزء الثاني من درسنا الاول the motion in one direction we started in the last session the first type of the speed which was the regular speed we know that just to remember the regular speed is the change in the object position as the time passes with equal distances in equal periods of time. That was the regular speed we studied. And now we're going to study the next part, which is the irregular speed. Of course, you know, you can expect the meaning of irregular speed. What is it? Could you? Huh? Excellent, very good. Let's move. The change in the object speed by unequal distances at equal periods of time. This is the first one. Number one, it is the change in the object's speed by unequal distances at equal periods of time. Or the change in the object position by equal distances, but equal, yes, equal distances, but an equal periods of time but at unequal periods of time this is the meaning of irregular speed and now if i ask you if you want to take a drive take a trip to anywhere in our town moving with our car what is the type of speed we can move with is it regular or irregular very good of course it is irregular why because we cut unequal distances in equal periods of time or even we cut equal distances they will be in unequal periods of time so during or inside our town مستحيل تقول لي أنا همشي ب regular speed no way no way give a reason it's a question yes give a reason we can't move with our car with a regular speed what's the answer yes very good very good due to the traffic problems or due to the traffic conditions of course we cannot move with a regular speed but if I ask you on another hand, when I can say that I move with a regular speed with my car, Mr. You said it's impossible. No, it's not impossible. It's possible, but in one case. Could you tell me? Huh? Somebody know? Bravo, Alik. Bravo, Alik. When we move in a running way, in a running way. طريق مصر اسكندريه الصحراوي. ساعتك ماشي بالعربيه بتاعتك ومثبت الاكسلتير بتاعك ها وشايف على السبيدوميتر ان انت بتتحرك with a 120 km per hour. As the time pass كل ما بيمر عليك وقت وانت مثبت سرعتك ها you can say I move with a regular speed. Thank you very good. And now very important question such like we started how can we get the regular speed mathematically by by what you remember huh? yes by v equal delta d divided delta t excellent and now i want to tell me how can i get the irregular speed mathematically how can Ah, yes, by the average speed, by the average speed. So, the average speed here is a method of calculation. Method of calculation. So, it's not a type of speed. Not a type. I repeat, uh, it's not a type, but it is a method of calculation. How can we calculate the speed? of a moving object move with irregular speed by sum the total distances covered by the moving object and 
divided by the total time taken to cover these distances. This is the meaning of average speed, the average speed. So I repeat, average speed here is not, is not a type of speed, but it's only a method of calculation. Uh, the speed of a moving body move with irregular speed. Let's study some examples. Firstly, a racer cover a distance of 100 meters of straight track in 10 seconds. Then he returned it back walking. Cutting a distance of 10 meters of straight track in 10 seconds. Then he returned back walking. He took about 80 seconds to come back to the starting point of the running while the returning while the returning and during the whole trip let's study number one the racer average speed while running firstly while running it cut a distance in a time so we can calculate it by v equal d divided t means 100 divided 10 equal 10 meters per second. The next while returning during walking, the recent average speed while returning, d divided t, the same distance, 100 meters, but time of 80 seconds. So the speed, the average speed here is 1.25 meters per second. What is the average speed? Yes. The average speed with the low is total distances covered divided total time. Total distance is d1 plus d2 equal 200 meter. What about the time? t1 plus t2 equal 90. So the average speed while returning is 2.2 meter per second. Another example. A runner covers the first 10 meters of a race in 10 seconds and final faster. Calculate the average speed. What is the average speed? The, the runner's average speed during the first is first 100 meters is V equal D divided T, 100 divided 10 equal 10. The runner average speed during the final 30 meter is huh, d divided t 300 divided 40. So it's equal 7.5. What is the average speed? What is the average speed? Huh? The total distances divided total time. Total distance is 100 plus 300. Total time. 10 plus 40 equal 400 divided 50 equal 8 meter per second. This is the two types of speed we studied. The first was the regular speed, the next was the irregular speed. And now, let's move up to another part of our lesson or the last part of our lesson that took about the relative speed. Somebody tell me, this is another type of speed, of course. No, it's another, not another type. Why? Because the relative speed is the speed of moving object, but relative to an observer. And the observer here is another object, is another object. Thank you for joining with us. إن شاء الله نكمل بإيد درسنا في الحصة القادمة بإذن الله تعالى